I feel like it's been a while since we've talked about ramp and while Sandman ramp is back at a 58% win rate, it has very strong matchups across the meta, including against some of the top decks which utilize Werewolf by Night, which hates Sandman because Sandman prevents the Werewolf from bouncing around with multiple cheap on reveals, especially those of which that have been bounced, which is the key way that the deck is being played. But most importantly, Annihilus actually hates Lockdown, the Lockdown element of this ramp deck because a turn for Professor X can prevent something like a Void from being kicked over on turn 5. It's very notable that Professor X has a very damaging uh, kind of playstyle against these types of decks that want to just junk you on the other side because it prevents anything from switching with Annihilus, which is key. It's also very notable, and as you'll see in this video, People are playing a ton of Destroy right now. It's been popular for months, but right now, because of the popularity of Annihilus and that people want to try Annihilus, Destroy is a very natural counter. The result to that is that, well, you need a deck that can sort out Destroy too. And while, while you are a little vulnerable with the Nebula and Sunspot, your early game is somewhat compromised because of the prevalence of Killmonger. What ends up happening is the use of an early Professor X, especially when you snap early on the Professor X, like kind of ramp based play, can be very detrimental to the Destroy based player because now you lock down a location, you have that pretty much secured, and then they tend to go very vertical, whether they're playing kind of like a Venom, which goes very vertical, then you punch it out before they can even Zola. Um, there's a lot of challenges with playing Destroy in a singular lane, because you tend to go just too high into Shang-Chi range, which is why Shang-Chi's in this deck. I wasn't supposed to make a video where Elias just dominating people on turn six, but like that's exactly what happened here. People were pretending like Elias didn't exist. Crazy, always assume a life is in your opponent's hand, especially if you've given up initiative. It's also worth noting that Deadpool based destroy decks absolutely hate Sandman because if you destroy the Deadpool, it bounces back to your hand and you have this death you're holding with Deadpool and Taskmaster for your turn six play and they play a turn five Sandman or even on turn four, whatever it is, your combo is completely screwed. So Sandman can be very effective in disrupting the gameplay style of these types of destroy decks, which are relying on discounted deaths. And of course the, uh, the Taskmaster play with Deadpool, which is very common right now. Regardless, it's a very fun deck to play. It runs Orca, one of my favorite cards in the game. Miss Marvel continues to put up a lot of horizontal power. And we did try a version of the deck with Odin and Doom if you want to try something a little more traditional. Regardless, I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. If you like the video, hitting the like button is the best thing that you can do. It's free and it truly supports my content. If you're not subscribed, uh, subscribed yet, maybe consider subscribing as well. I would really appreciate your support. Regardless, I hope you enjoy these gameplay highlights. So now they just lose left, right? Elioth just always wins. So with Jeff and Doom bots, we own initiative. Elioth turn six just wins the game cleanly. They don't have Zola in their deck. So they do ultimately get eliminated here. The Professor X lockdown was really strong in this matchup. It really gave us a chance to win a singular location effectively. So they got to do something here. The Skillmonger gameplay. Okay. It was an interesting attempt. GG's. Victory. By the way, I will say, my wife and I have been, um, I've been trying to catch up on the MCU. Snap. And we've been watching uh, movies. She slept she fell asleep during the Eternals. So I finished that on my own. It started slow, but I ended up liking it, to be honest with you. Um, but what I will tell you, we are about 35, 40 minutes into Shang-Chi. That movie is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Shang-Chi is a fantastic film. I can't believe how good it is. It is so good. It might be the best. Honestly, the first I've only I'm only 35 minutes in. But like it might be my favorite thus far. It might be my favorite thus far. Really like it a lot. Just Pro X here? Could Pro X here. Oh, they get all this extra mana. Damn it. What do you do with all this mana? But it's okay. I'll be a big boy. I'll be all right. But I think we have to play Marvel. Because I think Orca needs to rise to 21 power. Set, 
So Shang-Chi always wins. Null's actually going to be above 10. Four, two, one, we win. So this play should result in the worst player being eliminated from contention in Gold Conquest. Okay, I respect the Skillmonger gameplay. Just makes their null bigger though. Yeah, that's, that's even riskier than before. Yep. That's painful. That's painful. Victory. GG. GG. Uh, this deck, honestly, has been extremely good for us. We probably wave into Doctor Doom, into Professor X. We always play wave here. I am not buying Howard the Duck. I refuse to spend my tokens on Howard the Duck. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. You cannot make me make buy to, uh, Howard the Duck. You just cannot make me. I never will. Howard the Duck does not exist to me. They're snapping back. Always lock low. Ooh. Yes, we're gaming. We have initiative. G man for the lulls. I can't just G man. Just commit mid. That's fair. All right. Danger Room never betrays us. We gap the death? What is this? Do they even have death? Oh my god! <laughs> Danger Room's blessed! Oh, the humanity! Oh my gosh, I actually feel bad for Sim for Scarlet Witch there. Oh, the humanity! I'm gonna snap. Because we have Nebula, we have Electro, we got the cards we need. Yeah, Leader's also good with Sam, man, I agree. Double snaps. Let's see what you got, Voodoo. We have cut Shamu from this deck. We're running a slightly different list, more of a control style list. Bifrost completely ruins us. That's actually kind of sad because we wanted to have Nebula sitting on this uh, prison location here. But instead, what we got is a whole bunch of BS. A ton of disappointment. We can still access the location, but well, that's great. That's great. This is the most cursed game of all time already. This is cursed. It's so cursed. <clears throat> oh, you might be underpowered now, dude. Is the correct play to actually Odin here? Because if they try to sneak Jeff in? If they ever get a card in there, Miss Marvel wins, right? Send Doom right for eight cubes. I am wow, they actually threw this game for eight. That's crazy. Victory. Wow, I didn't expect that. This game looked so bad for us. It looked like we were gonna lose 100%. We had our Electro Cosmode. They pushed Miss Marvel into mid, and we still won. So this is an ongoing deck. I respect it. I do. I respect it a lot. So we have Shang-Chi. I don't know if they do. 
Now this deck, I think that uh, Sandman won't be particularly valuable against them. They're likely just playing directly on curve. We just lock right. They might have Jeff. They might not have Jeff. I think I just Shang-Chi now straight up. We need a life. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I almost feel bad, man. I just like Oh, it's just I, I just feel bad. Like I asked for it. It shows up top decked. I gotta tell you, I feel so bad. Like I literally asked for it, it shows up. Oh my it's just not fair. It's just not fair. Victory. It's not their fault. This stream and this video is not supposed to be me just playing Eliath over and over again. I know, I'm sorry, I know you're upset. Oh, what are you supposed to do? They have consistently had the hood available to them. We got Annie Maze. We have to play into it and hope it goes right. Going left kind of sucks. That's unfortunate. Is Marvel is dead to us here? We got lots of sunspots now. Well, I guess we do this. Okay, not the end of the world. We can punch into that. Still float. No. We can punch out this demon. I think we play this. I think we punch out the demon. And then we can even Orca Eliath, honestly. Do we punch out the demon? I think maybe we hold. I think we have to do this to block a potential uh, swing. But it's too easy to float all this energy. I think we have to destroy the demon. I don't love this play. But against an Annihilus, we have to restrict their options. So they actually just helped us a bit, because helping us draw into Miss Marvel potentially, I think is huge. It's Orca to gain initiative. Now we don't know if they have Jeff or anything. Interesting choice there. Yeah, you gotta just... You can't go eight cubes against an Eliath with initiative like that. You just can't do that. I feel bad, but like we consistently keep winning with Eliath. And it does make me feel a little bad because like I know the card's frustrating, but in that situation, it's like for me, I'm like, there's no way they stay in this game, right? But they just do. Derp -de -derp. It's a beast. Do we beast? Do we beast Sunspot back to dodge this Killmonger or what? Yep. This is like literally MLG gameplay now. Did you just play Deken? That's from Camp Lehigh. That's a Camp Lehigh Deken. I guess Miss Marvel here for the lulls? Okay, we do this. Damn, Deathlock Gaming. We always move Jeff mid, by the way, and Orca right. They never expect that. 
Literally never in a million years. Did we snap. Sunspot. Pro X. Let's get this value here, Pro X. It's nothing but value. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, getting greedy, are we? What's this now? A shard. Hmm. They've made a choice. Now, are they going to gamba? Are they going to gamba on me not having a Lyoth here? Do Canadians celebrate Christmas? Yes, we do. Basically, what we do is we get like a uh, we get like a deciduous tree. We decorate it with maple syrup. We throw Canadian goose feathers on it, and uh, we put that up. And then we we wrap presents. Yeah, but all the presents are always just hockey sticks, and you know what they are because like you just wrap the hockey stick. Yeah, that's Canadian Christmas basically. I feel bad. This really shouldn't be happening. It really shouldn't be happening. Victory. Every time I make a deck with a Lyoth in it, it's supposed to be about all the other cards, but it always just comes down to me a Lyothing on turn six.